Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami 2. In the last session we began the game and it was a really, really strong opening. I think the best so far in the series. And uh, we are now back in Sotenbori, which I honestly wasn't expecting to return to after Zero. I thought that was something they just made for Zero. Uh, but no, I guess not. I guess we'd <laughs> people had already been here all the way back in the second game. And, uh, yeah, we are going to be taking a look around. We're going to Majima's old, uh, old workplace, apparently. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm kind of curious about how this hunger meter works. Uh, so I guess let's head in here and see... Oh! Oh my god. The doors opened and we walked in? My mind is blown. This is a whole new world of Yakuza. You don't walk up to the door and press A and appear inside? That's crazy. Um, right. Oh, I see. It actually tells you what XP it gives you as well for buying this stuff. Oh, that's good. That's a good way of doing it. Uh, special. Why, why is it special? What does that mean that it's a chef special? Not sure. It does give a bunch of most kinds of points, though. Uh, we definitely need a bunch of yellow and green to get our XP stuff up. And uh, it gets a hunger up by 60, so sure, I guess. Uh, do we just eat that? I mean, we don't have a ton of cash, is the other thing. We do need to make money. I'm not sure how we make money, but... Because uh, we have exactly 30k, so that implies that we haven't been just getting cash after battles. Otherwise, we wouldn't have exactly 30k, presumably? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, yes, confirm. No? How do I just buy it? Cancel your order. No. Oh, at the bottom. Reading is hard. Confirm your order. Yes. Nom 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 nom. Umaina. Alright, cool. Thank you very much. Man, it's wild to me that the doors just open and you walk in. <laughs> That's crazy. Unheard of. Alright, well, uh... How much uh, XP do we actually need for the next XP level? I forget. Uh, a lot. <laughs> we need a lot. Okay. So, we won't get that anytime soon, but we can boost uh, attack a bunch more, so that's good. Uh, was there anything else that takes red in the stats page? No, okay. Was there anything else? Did I want anything? That takes green. Anything that takes green or yellow I don't want to spend on, because I want to spend that on... On the actual money, right? On the actual money? The actual XP. <laughs> So let's just keep going with attack. Cool. Well, we are immediately up to 7 out of 10 pips on that, so that's good. I'm kind of half thinking I should just buy another... I should just buy another bit of food and go straight up to maxing it out and breaking the attack limit level. But I don't know, I don't know what the money situation is going to be like in this game, so let's not. Let's not do that. Um, I also would like to buy, uh, does it say what shop this actually is? I don't know what Kokuru is. Drugstore, there we go. I would like to buy some health refills, because no doubt I will need those in some fights. Hey there, you with the muscles? Yes, you. How would you like to be a tester for our brand new interactive urination experience? Toilets. That is so bad. <laughs> I feel like that's the kind of joke I should have heard somewhere before. A toilet. Toy what? Oh, sorry. Let me start over. My name is Machida and I'm in charge of a hot new game we like to call Toilets. See what we did there? Do I have your attention? Sure. Is this a sub story? I was... Normally the sub stories don't tend to unlock until like a few chapters in and we're only on the second one, but sure. I guess I have a minute or two. But let's keep this short, can we? Stupendous! I'll get right to the point then. I'd like you to test out an incredible new game we've developed called Toilets. 
Right, you mentioned that before. What exactly is it? Great question. Toilets is a revolutionary entertainment device combining the call of nature and a digital interface. What? If you're trying to gross me out, it's working. Gross? It's anything but, sir. Toilets may be a urinal-based device, but promoting bathroom cleanliness is actually its key feature. Your goal is to keep your aim centred in the urinal, which is both a fun and clean way to relieve yourself. Heh. <laughs> I guess I'm starting to see the appeal. Right, two birds with one stream. <laughs> Fuck me. Of course, you may see the occasional ad. Fuck off. But that's how we keep bathroom time fun. Imagine getting served ads whilst taking a piss. Fuck me. The toilet stays clean, the bathroom becomes fun, and our wide array of advertising sponsors stays happy. Did I say two birds? Toilets is going to hit the whole nest. If this thing takes off, it'll be a golden god of the industry. Oh my god, golden god. Ha 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 ha. Uh. <laughs> Ahem. Excuse me for that, sir. Now then, we have a prototype set up right inside this store. Would you like to try it out? I just have to do my business as usual, right? Guess it wouldn't hurt to try. Thank you so much. Let's go. The prototype is just beyond this bathroom door. Enjoy your relief, sir. After all, who said peeing can't be fun? It's toilet's time. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Right. I can't believe this is this this is the sub story that I get. Wait, wait. Pissing is a mini game. It's an actual mini game. I thought he was just gonna off-screen piss. Increase flow intensity, motherfucker. What? Bruh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Splash battle, milky nose. What? Use your stream to force your opponent out of the ring. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> what the fuck? You prior pisser. Oh my fucking god. Do I just... Surely I just keep it at max? Is there any reason I wouldn't just keep it at max? I don't... Oh, this is your HP. What I, I I don't I have no idea what I'm doing. I have absolutely no idea how I was supposed to play that. <laughs> if I just held it at max, it seemed like my HP level was just dropping massively. So I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. You'd think they'd give you an explanation on how it worked before you did it, but <laughs> that would be crazy. Uh, where's the guy that we spoke to? Do we not have to speak to him again to... Oh, is it here? Is it this guy? Well, how was it? Honestly, pretty good. I always thought going to the bathroom was kind of a waste of time before, so having fun while I did it was a real eye-opener. Splendid response, sir. I hereby assign you the title of Glorious Lead Tester. Here, this is for you. The Toilet's Sensor. This device will assign a number to your urinary, urinary urges, so you'll always know how full your bladder is at any given time. That sounds more impressive than the toilets. <laughs> you'll be primed to play once you hit 3,000. Oh, and this might seem obvious, but the more you drink, the quicker your meter will fill. Now, the name of the game is AIM, my friend. It's Toilets Time. Yep, never doing that. <laughs> no, thank you. What a strange fucking... Was that even a sub-story? Did it come up with the... S I don't... Like, it's, it asked if we had time to do it. And I said yes, which is normally what happens at the start of a sub-story. Huh? But, um... It didn't come up with the usual jingle and the little thing on the bottom right. Although maybe they, they don't do that in this game because it's a different engine. I don't know. The thing. Hey, where do you think you're going, pal? I ain't seen you around before. Guy like you should know your place. Quit strutting around like a damn peacock. What the fuck have you done to your hair, my guy? You've just fucking taken the razor to it in random points? Wait. 
Wait, I peacocked your mum? This is an actual response. This is the kind of thing that I would say, not the fucking game would say. I love it. I peacocked your mum. Huh? Oh, a wise guy. I'll sink your smart ass in a river. Hope you believe in an afterlife, buddy. I peacocked your mum. <laughs> Over here, buddy. Come on, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Damn, sorry I called you a peacock. Maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, just a sec. Hold on now, I ain't no trouble, buddy. Ooh. Did you think I was Yakuza, buddy? Stop calling me buddy, pal. Can't say I blame you with what with my mean mug. Runs in the family. Mama's side, you know. I can I tell folks I ain't Yakuza, and they still run off screaming bloody murder. For real. How's an honest man supposed to do business in this damn town? Mm. At this rate, I may as well join a Yakuza clan. Would serve them right. Yeah. Anywho, I just saw you drop that blowhard. You're a real bruiser, eh? Numbskull there was giving me shit too. Oh, I'm Kurokawa, by the way. It means Black River, but my heart's white as snow and pure as a pretty lady. Mm. Speaking of pretty ladies, boy, mine sure wasn't. <laughs> what? Had a face like a pork chop. Almost glad she ran off, you know? Yeah. Anywho, what's your name, fella? It's Kiryu. <laughs> Kiryu Han, eh? First time in Osaka? Glad to have you either way. Anywho. I owe you one for dunking that dipstick. Mm. But what to give you? Hmm. Anything you're after, buddy? Tell you what, I got dirt on this whole city. You need info, you just scooch on up for a scoop. I'll be around if you need me, buddy. He doesn't even say bye. He just turns and walks away. Giga Chad. Golf center. Mm. Not from around here, are you? This neighborhood ain't what it used to be. Whole new vibe to it. Luckily, the folks living here ain't changed too much. Now these guys, I can clearly fight these guys, right? But they just walked past me. Was that? If I can, I just like. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, guess I won't pick that up. Alright, it's the same animation. A silver plate. I can sell that, right? And I just saw something shiny here. What's this? You found a key for the Sotenbori coin lockers. Oh, right. So it's the same as Kiwami 1. G3. Right. It didn't say where the lockers are. But I'm sure I will discover that at some point in 20 hours. There's another one. A gold plate. Nice. Cash money. I'll have to find a pawn shop, I guess. Man, it is actually blowing my mind that I can walk into these shops without going through a loading screen. They said it couldn't be done. Hello. Right. Okay, so shit like this. Oh, wait, that's heat. Stamin Royale is what I usually get. And that's 10,000 a pop. <laughs> okay. Well, we can't afford that. Um... Restores your health gauge quite a bit for 3,000. Hmm. Restores health and charges heat slightly. It's 3,000 for one of those. 1,000 for a little boost. 
I, d I don't know how much slightly is, you know? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I think we'll go for a few of these. Oh my fucking Christ, they stack? They stack. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached a new age of technology. Items can stack on top of each other in your inventory. Oh my fuck. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. Holy shit. Okay, that's 15 grand. Let's not spend 15. Let's uh, spend 10, sure. Eh, let's spend 7.5, sure. That's wild. They've invented stacking the same item on top of itself. Truly, Yakuza Kiwami 2 is already shaping up to be the best game. <laughs> now, what does it mean on the map when we've got like these little red X's? Well, what does that mean? I'm not sure. Does it just mean I can't go that way? Oh yeah, it does, okay. Is this a substory thingy? My sides are splitting. I told you not to eat so damn much. My food went down fine. It's your face I'm struggling with. Uh, <laughs> bro. What? Okay. Clappers. Uh, I guess we can boost heat gauge, sure. Lovely. I do wish the heat gauge charged faster. It feels really slow so far in this game, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it's my imagination, but I don't think it is. Oh, hello, another shiny. I feel like the shinies are much, they made them much more noticeable in this game. Like it's a proper big glow rather than just an occasional twinkle. Like I, I even see one right there. Just look down the road and there's another one just over here. Keep the lockers. J2. Cool. Huh. I can go down here. Can I, I can't go into this place or anything. Can I? I wonder what's the point of this alley existing. No, thank you. Not interested. I'm going to check out Majima's old haunt. Huh? Man, this is bullshit. I was upstairs enjoying the VIP seats when a pack of Yakuza looking heavies busted in. Then I got bounced down here. <sighs> I was on the waiting list for three months to get those seats. Mm. I'm terribly sorry, sir. How can we make this up to you? I mean, a full refund would be a start. I know. Uh, this area is invitation only. Guests without invitations are, of course, free to wait for the next available table. My apologies. Next available table is in three months. Wait, are we not actually coming in here? Oh, did I get the wrong place? Or no, it was just we needed to get that info and then leave. Yeah, we did have to go in there. Man, your base sprints, sprint length is so much longer in this game. Like, I'm still sprinting. It hasn't forced me to stop yet. Hi. Oi. What can you tell me about the VIP seats at the Cabaret Grand? Yeah. I mean, the pride of Sotenbori down there. Did you know Maki Kureishi got her start there? She's a movie star now. <laughs> I knew a man like you would have great taste, Kiyuhan. Anywho, I got this guy who takes care of butt beads. Hemorrhoids, I mean. <laughs> Well, that guy's nephew's teacher's sister's hubby got this twin brother who plays Mahjong with the Grand Zona. Tell you what, I owe you one, so I'll put in a call to my butt guy. He'll talk to his nephew's teacher's sister's hubby's twin brother's Mahjong friend, and I'll get you up in those VIP seats. Just, uh, give me a few. Yellow. Yeah, 
Yeah. Hey, bud. How's the butt clinic? You know that guy at the Grand who plays Mahjong with your nephew's teacher's sister's hubby's twin bro? Yeah. I need you to call in a fit. Eh? What do you mean, who is this? It's Kurokawa, you blowhard. <laughs> I said it's Kurokawa. Get your damn ears checked. No. Anyway, I need VIP seats at the Grand for a good buddy of mine. What do you mean it's full up with real VIPs? You're trying to piss me off? Look, pal, I got pics of you balls deep in some chick who ain't exactly your wife here. Bro, this game is insane. This game is insane. I'm sure there's room for one more narrow ass in those VIP seats. Oh, you think that's funny? How funny is it going to be if my finger slips and hits send right now? Mm. Right, right. I knew you'd see it my way. My boy's name is Kiryu. Mighty generous of your friend. Kiryu hand. There's your VIP seats at the Cabaret Grand all sorted. Apparently they're pretty hard to get. Invitation only, yeah? Anyhow, shame I can't do more for you. Knock him dead tonight, buddy. Mm. What the fuck? What the fuck? I I am in I'm stun locked. Oh, hello, another one. Another one. Another one. Okay, I need to okay, where's where's a fucking pawn shop? Uh doop doo Popo, no, that's a store. Don Quixote. Ah, pawn shops all the way down there. Okay, well, it's too far away to run right now, but whenever we happen to head down that way, I will sell the old plates, get some cash money. How's our hunger doing, by the way? Wait, our hunger's already down to zero? We, like, we literally just ate. How is it already down to zero? I'm confused. What's the point of hunger? Eating and drinking will restore HP and give you XP, and you can get bonus XP. If you eat when you're not hungry, you'll recover HP but not gain XP. So is, is it literally the only point of the hunger meter? Is to be, full, be filled to give you XP. Right? Because the point, because it's not, it's, the point of the hunger meter has nothing to do with HP, because you get HP even if you're not hungry when you eat. So that's irrelevant. So the only purpose of the hunger meter existing is that if it is low when you eat, you will get XP as well. That seems like a strange thing to, like, give a whole ass meter to and everything just for that, but sure. I'd understand it more, like, I wouldn't actually want this, but I'd understand it more if it was, like, if you were low on, if you were hungry, then you fought worse or something, and if you were full, you fought better or something like that. That would, I wouldn't like that, because I don't particularly like those kind of mechanics, like, survival-esque mechanics, I guess, but I would at least understand its purpose. <laughs> it feels like it doesn't really need to exist, as is, but, uh, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's not an issue, it's just... It seems weird to create a whole thing for that. If it's literally just... Yeah, sometimes you get extra XP. Hello, I have a thing now. Oi. Hi, I'm supposed to be on a list, courtesy of Kurokawa. You must be Kiryu-sama, then. I do have your name, sir. Is this your first visit to the VIP section, sir? Please make your way right up these stairs. Sup. Nice dress. Welcome, I'm Yuko. A pleasure to have you, sir. Hello. お客さんこっちの人やないね。うん。旅行でこっちへ来たんいや。じゃあ、お仕事まあ、そんなところだ。おい、女子の数が少ないやないけ。支配人はどこにおるんや。ちょっと目合わせたらあかん。この辺で有
関西でわしらのテーブルこないに寂しいする店ほかにないですすみません頭下げる暇あんねやったら色っぽい姉ちゃん餃子引っ張ってこんかいええー、加減にせもうええあ親分さんありがとうございます親分さんさすがやわ監督あるな当たり前やがなお前さんこの仕事してて親父のこと知らんのかい未来の近江連合のドン、oh. 関西の竜や This is a guy. へえ。This is the guy that set up a Daigo, right? ど、どないしましたあ、こいつのせいでかちゃうわ。お前今何言うたは覚えとらんのかいえ、あ、I love his voice. His voice sounds so good. Why are you saying no, my dear? You t r a c a n go to my rear. Ah, yeah, hey, Kara, how you ever g a i So much at this up. Oh, meet the moon, I did. I was a kiss, w e r n g a i What a terrible beard he has, though. The sideburns down into the beard that just gives up halfway down his chin. Awful. Horrendous. Yamada. Is he pouring that onto the floor? So <laughs> good. <laughs> あの、親父で、さっき言ったこと思い出したんかいえ、あ、いや…まあ、飲めえ…あ、はい、いただきます<笑><笑>関西の竜関西の竜って言ったんだちょちょっとあんたイエス落ち着かねえ店だ待てや悪れよくも口にしたのおめえらがもう一度聞きてえと言ったからだ人の話盗み聞きしちゃってくれあれだけでかい声で喋られたら嫌、yeah. でも耳に入るぜうらっ<笑> !No reaction! <笑> oh, that's brilliant! <笑>ブラ。
すまんことしたわ。うちの若い衆は血の毛が多くてのう。もうお帰りですかお前らといると酒がまずくなる。あんたは大したおとこや。切り入った。さっきのお詫びとして怒らせてくださいや。断る。海合流会のおごりですわし
キリュウカズマさんほうなUh, big outdoor screen, you say. It's looking pretty bad. That's awful frightening. You aren't kidding. Where did it happen? Shit's going down at some building. <laughs> Don't tell me they've blown up the Millennium Tower again. What a crazy world. No way. That's so scary. Oh my gosh. That was one hell of a noise. It's a terrorist attack. Oh my god, they actually did blow up the fucking Millennium Tower again. They only just fixed it after we blew it up last year. Bro said the greatest fireworks show that Kamurocho has ever seen, and then proceeded to do、uh, the exact same fireworks show we saw last year. <laughs> これが花火ついに始まったか。ああ、須藤ですええ残念ですが倉敷課長の読み通りとなってしまいました須藤51いやまだ関西とのつながりは分かりませんええそうですやはり海外の組織が関係しているのではないかと思いましてそうですかわかりましたでは私の方も手配しますええあの任務は伊達さん以外にこなせませんからはいでは伊達さん is on the case ボイン saving complete Chapter 3 The Yakuza Huntress. <laughs>